Data visualizations assist users to comprehend and explore their data. For example, this is a custom indoor location visualization tool created by a master's student at Deakin University that can be used to help study how people move around in the workplace. However, bespoke visualization tools like this are time consuming to create. This app took the master's student over a month to implement. And even then, it's still just a prototype. Multiple iterations of user testing and redesign will be required before settling on the final design. Suppose that a biologist wants to reuse the visualization tool to inspect animal GPS tracking data rather than indoor person movements. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that the format of the animal tracking data will be directly interchangeable with the indoor location tracking data format expected by the current visualization tool. The biologist could always attempt to rename some of the data fields in their animal tracking data to match the indoor tracking data format, but some fields might have incompatible data types or might be specific to animal tracking data with no clear equivalent in the existing indoor visualization tool. Furthermore, the visual notation and legends for indoor person movement data might not make sense for animal tracking data. For example, the symbol and legend for the location of a person might be confusing if applied to animals instead. Echelon is a visualization recommender tool that automatically suggests an appropriate visual notation given the structure of the data that the user would like to visualize. Unlike other visualization recommenders that restrict the output to a particular visualization system, Echelon is designed to integrate with a broad range of existing visualization systems by producing notations and associated data transformations that take into account the features of the output system. In short, this means that users can automatically visualize their data using the visualization technology of their choosing without having to implement custom code or to modify the structure of their data set. Here's an updated version of the location visualization tool from before that uses Echelon this time. While the visualization output looks similar to the initial version of the tool, the visualization notation for person tracking data has been automatically recommended by Echelon this time rather than being hard coded as before. We'll now show how Echelon can be used to extend the visualization tool to support animal tracking data without the need for any further code or data changes. The first step is to provide Echelon with a data schema that describes the structure of the data that you'd like to visualize. Fortunately, many data providers, such as open data portals, will already provide a data schema alongside data sets, or at least some form of metadata that can be used to help create one. Echelon also requires a specification of the features supported by the visualization output tool that it will use. This only needs to be written once and should ideally be provided by the developers of the visualization tool and only needs to be updated if the tool introduces substantial new visualization features such as the ability to set custom textures. We can now tell Echelon to search for a visual notation suited to animal tracking data, taking into account the range of visualization features supported by the location visualization tool. In this case, Echelon has chosen to use square end markers to represent the last known location of each animal with color dependent on the animal release date. We can now use the recommended notation and associated data transformations generated by Echelon to visualize the animal tracking data. We could apply the transformations as a pre-processing step, but in this case, Let's copy the transformation specification into the visualization tool so that it can automatically apply the transformations on the fly as the animal tracking data updates. Note that other than removing the old background, we haven't needed to make any further code modifications to support animal tracking data specifically. This means that end users can automatically generate visualizations for a broad range of data types without needing to make any of their own code modifications so long as they can define a schema for their data set. That said, there may be situations where Echelon is unable to recommend a notation. For example, if the structure of the data set is a poor fit for the features of the visualization output, 
or if there are more mandatory data properties to visualize than are possible to display.